For sake of high, right? Hey, Kortatsu, is that a Misa charm I see on your bag? You bet it is. Handmade by yours truly. Oh, I can't tell if I'm impressed or creeped out. Make one for me, too. Leave it to me, but you've got to keep it hidden. Yeah, we know. It would be bad if anyone saw. Yahoo! Yahoo! Lunchbox looks like it only has three trays, but it really My has six. of impersonations has expanded CBS dramatically. CBS acquired the Fender Companies in 1965, didn't they? in one day. We're probably gonna have to stay up super late to get all of it done. You won't even give us any time to eat, will you, slave driver? Excuse me, everyone. Uh -huh. I'll make sure to prepare enough snacks for everyone, so won't you please take care of the cleaning? I can make rice balls. Yukimura, where did you come from? They surrounded you and I just panicked. I'm sorry. Well, thanks to you, it looks like this cleaning thing will actually happen. But now that I think about it, how am I going to make enough snacks for all those people? In such a short amount of time, it's impossible. Don't say that, God! Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, don't cry about Everyone it. Everyone on the student council will pitch in and make it work somehow. After all, it was the council that requested the buildings to be cleaned in the first place. I will put my heart and soul into making these rice balls. I wonder if those guys will be okay with one per person. They definitely will not. <laughs> Mr. Usui, uh -huh, it's been so long. You've been absent for a while now, haven't you? Yeah, I got a little hurt. Uh -huh. It's been a while, Miss President. Are you all better now? Thanks to you, I am. Oh. I'm sure you're glad to be back. Let's go, Yugamura. Uh, uh, wait, Miss President. Oh, by the way, Mr. Usui, if you had to pick your favorite food to snack on, what would it be? Rice soup. Huh? No, um, I mean, more like the kind of snack you'd enjoy after doing a lot of hard work. What's wrong with rice soup? Huh? Why rice soup? You ask me what I like. Well, if you need anything, just let me know. Excuse me, sir. Huh? 
Yes? Let's just wait till Monday. Actually, I have something to ask about tomorrow's campus cleanup. Uh. I'd like to provide some snacks for the club members. Kano, I'll be running late tonight, so would you go on ahead? Understood, sir. Mr. Vice President, a moment. See you later, Kano. You two have become great friends, haven't you? And you, President. You two have become a great couple, haven't you? Huh? What are you talking about? I really don't understand what you're trying to hide it for. Seriously, what are you talking about? You and Usui, you're dating, aren't you? <gasps> are you an idiot? You gotta be kidding me. You would date a perverted weirdo like him. But why did you look after him and make him rice soup if you're not his girlfriend? <gasps> How did you know? I'm sorry. I could just tell somehow. That was because I, I owed him a lot of favors, and I had to pay him back somehow. I couldn't oh. help it, so don't go getting the wrong idea. I'm sorry I asked. So you have another one? A, a love letter, I mean? Uh, what a headache. Will you go for me? Huh. She said she's waiting in the second year's classroom. I can't go in your place! What? You're saying you're still scared of girls? That's not the problem here, and you know it! You're kind of useless, aren't you, Kana? What? Fine, then throw this garbage away. <sighs> Calm down, I was just kidding. <sighs> then why don't you just go out with someone? If it's such a headache, why not properly date someone? There'd probably be fewer of these confessions. And also, it looks like President Ayuzawa hasn't noticed how much... I mean... You sure are awfully talkative today, aren't you, Kano? Does seeing this make you annoyed? Frustrated? Uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. I just... Look, I'm not angry about it, you know. Uh, I see. I'm just sick of it. All of that stuff. Uh... Trying to date someone properly is an even bigger headache. Uh, a headache. Huh? Thank, Thank you for, for coming, coming master. master. What are you doing here, Aoi? And why are you wearing one of our uniforms again? What's the big deal? The shop's I already told closed. You I was supposed to be the one in the middle. <laughs> Hurry up hey, and go home. Well, I guess it's time for us to head home too. Should we go get something to eat? <laughs> Can I come with you guys too? Of course. Do you know anywhere good? Where are the, Where kitchen, are the kitchen sisters? sisters? We didn't have as many orders for rice dishes today as we thought we would, so we have a lot of extra rice. We made rice balls with the leftovers. Why don't we all eat them together? Well, looks like we'll be dining at Maid Latte tonight. It certainly is cheaper. Yeah, that's for sure. Too bad Nice is not here. I could have given her some to take home. Mm, tasty. Come on! Just turn into a triangle already! Rice soup. Uh, no, 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 I can't get distracted! Uh, if I just squeeze it tighter, it should work! Hey, sis. <laughs> What are you doing in here? Oh, nothing! Just practicing how to make rice balls! What the? I can't waste any more rice. Ugh. Hey, I know. Ooh. Then why don't you try this? Mix tiny balls of tissue in with the rest of the rice. Whoa! Great idea, Susan! Up being for sure makes you creative! All right! Now I can go on a rice ball making rampage! Please don't burn the house down. Begin making them for real. Miss President, you're not looking too well. Did you sleep okay? It's nothing at all. I'm fine, really. I've got this. I finally got the shape down this morning. I can definitely make these. All right, everyone. We've got some rice balls to make. Oh, Miss President, it looks like we have another helper. Yes, I'm available. Oh, great. Thank you. I haven't seen Usui at all today. Is he here? Um, now that you mention it, he hasn't shown up today. Tell me, Yukimura, what do you think about Usui and President Ayuzawa? I think they're great people. That's not exactly what I meant. Ouch! What do you mean, then, about them? I mean, what do you think about their relationship? Oh. Flash! <laughs> they're a golden combination! A what now? They're both incredible. They're good at everything they do. Sometimes, it seems like they're on a totally different level than everyone else. It's like they're part of a world someone like me could never enter. Miss President is always having to come to my rescue. 
If I could just be a little more like Mr. Usui, I could be more helpful to her. Uh, Yukimura, do you like President Ayuzawa? Yep. I like her very much. <sighs> That's quite a confession. No, wait a minute! I didn't mean it like that! I don't like her like her. Damn it, Yukimura! What are you blabbering about? Less talking, more rice balling! Oh, yes, been eating enough vegetables lately. And finished! Good job, everyone! You all made some great rice balls! Huh? What's with all these deformed ones over here? <gasps> Wait, Wait, those are... are... They're obviously rice huh? balls, Kano! looking at them? Uh, uh, then but try they don't eating look like... one. See, it's a rice ball. It's just a little saute. But they're making a disturbing sound. You're hearing things. Where are the snacks? Yeah. Hey, you guys. Hey, what are you... Have you what even are these things? There are some weird balls mixed in here. Much yeah. awesome. <laughs> I hope you morons are prepared, because I'm about to break the pain! Well, I guess it was nice knowing them. There's nothing we can do for them now. Let's finish cleaning things up. Says rice balls! Such treasures! They're incredible! Such treasures! I'll cherish this for the rest of my life! What do you think they're made of? Those guys cleaned up everything before they went home. If they were gonna clean, they could have at least thrown these away, too. Oh, these are pretty terrible. So much for staying up all night to make them. Even that rice soup I made before is better than these things. Oh, there's no way that he would ever want to eat something like this monstrosity. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> How did she even make these? <laughs> At least you gave it your all, right, Ayazawa? Good work today. Sorry to keep you waiting. I brought our bags, too. I really don't understand them at all. Huh? How can they care so much for each other and yet never tell each other how they feel? Why do they avoid it instead of trying to move forward? What are you grumbling about? When I woke up yesterday, all of those rice ball rejects were gone. I wonder where they went. Talk about strange. Mr. President. Uh, why are you always popping out of thin air like that? Huh? Really? I thought I appeared pretty normally. The hell you did. Come on, it's not like I fell out of the sky or something. Duh, stupid. People don't just fall out of the sky. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I can't believe I almost dropped my precious food like that. Yeah, that sure was clumsy of me. Class, this is Hinata Shintani, a transfer student. He was born here, but moved to Kyushu for about ten... What's the matter? Uh, what's your problem, man? I smell honey and lemon. Ah! You mean... this? Ah! He looks like he wants it. He really looks like he wants here, it. take it, dude. Just quit staring at me like that, you weirdo. Huh? You really mean it? You're a stand-up guy, you know that? Don't mind if I do. Hey, Shintani, you can't eat in homeroom. You know that. Uh, 
He looks sad. He looks really sad. I can't. Um, well, maybe just this once. <gasps> of course you can't keep it. Sir, you can't baby him right off like this. He has to be held to the same standard as everyone else. Yes. Uh, you're right. It was Shintani, wasn't it? Please put that candy away now. You big meanie. Ah! Wait, now, what are you getting so worked up for? And you guys keep it down! And over here is the gym. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you, quit eating while you're walking? It's rude! I can't help it. I'm so hungry, I gotta eat. Confiscate it! <gasps> no! Don't know me, mister! Oh, Miss President, I'm sorry to bother you. Could you please take a look at the handouts for today's meeting? Oh, uh, sure thing! These oh, bread crusts are coming oh, with me! Idiot! Mimi! Ah. Is that guy really a high school student? Hey, new guy! Allow us to introduce ourselves. Just fix this part right here and add what I mentioned earlier and it'll be perfect. And please make enough copies for everyone, okay? You sure have been spending a lot of time with that transfer student, Miss President. You're not paying any attention to me at all. That makes me feel lonely. You liar, you don't look lonely at all. You haven't even been showing yourself all day. No? But I've been watching you this whole time, Misa. No surprise there. After all, you're you a saw, perfect stalker. You saw, didn't you, Ayazawa? You saw me. You saw me, didn't you? There you are, Misaki! That transfer student's in trouble! A bunch of guys have him surrounded! What? It looked like a dangerous situation, so we thought we should inform you right away. Where? This way! <laughs> Over there, huh? Hey, what are you guys? Oh. <laughs> this is a dangerous situation? No, earlier it seemed as if they were going to break into a fight at any moment. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's my turn. Try and guess what I've got. If you get it right, I'll give you a reward. Mm. Cheese flavored potato chip! That's right. Oh. 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 Reward, reward. How did you know even though the bag's not open? Dude, I can't believe you eat so much in fat. Well, back fat. in the day, I was super fat. But when I was in elementary school, both my parents died in a car wreck, and I went to live with my grandpa in Kyushu. It was way out in the country with no candy shops around, so since the only thing to eat were veggies, I ended up dropping some weight. But then Gramp said, all the fields in the world ain't enough to feed you. You're going to eat us straight out of house and home. So I came back here oh, where wow. I used to live. That was an unexpectedly tragic backstory. So you live all by yourself? Yeah. What about tuition? I get by on what my folks left behind for me. You've been through so much, have you? Really? <laughs> I thought you were just some idiot who ate like a pig. He's smiling on the outside, but he's hurting on the hurting. inside. How come? It's no biggie. I just came back to this town so I could find my first love. That's all uh -huh. I see. When I thought about seeing her again, I just couldn't control myself. But wait, didn't your grandpa kick you out? Well, the thing about Gramps is, he said, I was just pulling your leg. Don't leave. But I was all, don't worry, Gramps. I'll come back when it looks like you're going to die. I'm more worried about you than me. So then you came back just to see that girl again? Yep. From here on out, I'll be searching for her high and low, day in and day out. She was so kind and happy, and she looked after me tenderly. Yeah. She's like a single lovely flower blooming in the fields. Ah, how I long for you to feed me sweet cake once again. Just Hold wait, it, Chintani. Does that I'll girl even go to this school? Dunno. Uh, you don't know? Then how exactly do you plan to find her? No idea. But that girl, I made her a promise. I promised to stay by Misaki's side no matter what. Did he just say Misaki? <laughs> Dude, it's supposed to be the other way around. Any guy promising to stick by a girl? You sure are one hopeless guy, aren't you? <laughs> but that's the promise I made. Hang on. I think I've heard the name Misaki somewhere before. <laughs> hey, that's dangerous! <laughs> Jeez, I told you not to climb up that far, yo! Here, say ah, uh, okay? Don't go running off climbing trees! 
please anymore. You have to promise to stay by my side from now on, okay? Okay, Masaki. I promise. I'll stay by you forever and ever, no matter what. <gasps> say, Misaki, are you the same Misaki that boy's been talking about? Surely he would have noticed by now. After all the time they've spent talking, you would think he would have recognized her at least to some degree. Yoko! When I was in elementary school, there was a boy in my class with the nickname Yoko. Because his name could be read that way, too. The kid was always eating, and so he was a little on the chunky side. Then, then that means the boy's first love was... Probably me! Does that mean you and Hinata used to date? Huh? Ah! What an exciting turn of events! Oh, what makes you say that? Awesome! That right idiot! Here? Whoa, I can see the entire campus from up here. Okay. Shintani. Up here, I won't be bothered by a certain meanie. Hey, Misaki! Don't come crying to Where me if you fall you? again! Damn it, he's ignoring Misaki. me! Hey, Shintani! Hey. If you don't get down here right Misaki, now, I'm taking I your candy, your snacks, you. and your bread <gasps> uh. Yo! What's your name? Misaki. Ayuzawa. Sorry, but I'm a lot different from how I used to be. Misa! I missed you so much. Whoa. Yeah. 